Hello friends welcome back. In previous video we learn about images, anchor and lists. Now we take a look on few more elements that will help to include content in our web pages. Let's type out first link element. We are going to put this link element inside of our head rather than inside of body. This is actually is not going to create any kind of link that a user click on it so you want to put this inside of our head of document not in the body. The link tag includes other resources into our pages. So I am going to type some attributes out here. First is the rel. Rel attribute or relative attribute. And we are going to say this is a style sheet. Next is the type attribute. And the type will be text slash CSS. And then we will create an href and in the double quotes style.css and switch back to browser and if we refresh the browser you will not actually see anything come in the page because of course anything that is rendered in our web browser comes up in the body tag here. Next up is the script element which is actually pretty similar to link element except is it is used for including javascript javascript is something you want to learn later on but let's just see the let's see just what the might look at look like in the text editor we will type out script tag and we will use a use the use the type equal in the double quotes text slash javascript and then the source attribute we will set to a folder we will call javascripts and then slash and then say script.js this is our javascript file and then for the script tag we actually need a closing tag here we also have a type type attribute here and a source attribute here which is pretty much same as the href attribute now why do we have a closing tag we <coughs> well we can actually put things between these two script tags rather than including them using an external file so it is best practice to include your javascript with an external file put in a pinch you can go ahead and put it on the page so we are actually going to write our first bit of javascript so we will just type alert and in between the parentheses we will put a single quotes and inside of single quotes we will say i am javascript Now anything you put inside of the quotes including the exclamation point will actually appear in the browser as a alert box. So let's go ahead and switch back to our web browser and refresh the page and we have this alert box appear. We will just go ahead and click ok to dismiss it. Like I said as you can see we are using script tag to wrap our javascript rather than including an external file. We will learn more about javascript later on. Next up is the iframe element. Now in some very specific instances you will need to include two web pages together. Basically an iframe allows you to load one page into another page which is sort of inside of a box. You can al almost think of it as a window sitting on the page that opens up into another page so let's try an example we need to create actually our two web pages in order for this to work so we will create a page called using underscore iframe dot html and hit save and we want to make sure that this is in the same folder as our index.html and we will just delete this link and javascript in index 
index.html page because we don't actually need it and in index.file index file we were going to create an iframe let's go ahead and type this we will say iframe and we will set the width to 300 and we will set the height to 300 as well so we have a square box and then we need to set the source attribute to HTML document that we just created which is called using underscore iframe dot HTML as the index.html file otherwise it's not work if you want to put this file into separate folder you will need to set the path of over this source attribute so we will go ahead and put the closing iframe here and then over on index.html we will copy everything we have and paste it in the iframe page using under underscore iframe.html in the page and we will replace the iframe with just some text firstly open paragraph tag and then close it and inside of our paragraph we will say hello i am using underscore iframe page we will save that out and switch back to over to the browser and refresh the page you can see that although we we are actually in the root of of root of objects which would make the index.html file come up we are still seeing an iframe open up open up to using undersc underscore iframe.html so just to show you how this is working let's go ahead and modify the url here we actually go to index.html which is the page that we are already on it and of course since we are already on the page nothing should nothing should can should change but well we change the this url to using underscore iframe.html and now you can see we are actually just seeing the text without the box around it that's because we are not on index.html so if we go back to index page again our paragraph is showing in iframe so this is includes an iframe and guys thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel